In this video, I'll show you how I installed the RGB lights for the Flipper Zero, this transparent case, um, and the PCB boards have kindly been supplied by PCB Way. Um, in the description, I'll put a link to where you can order the case, and also put a, um, links to the PCB boards that I've got here that I've designed. Um, if you want to do the same mod to your Flipper Zero. So essentially what I've done is I've designed the PCB board that's thin enough to go down the bottom of the battery. Um, and you've got six NeoPixel LEDs here. And let's have a look at the PCB boards. So the top one is just the backlight RGB board. Um, the only additional thing I've added is it's got an output. So on this side here with the O, that pad there is an output, and you've got the input on this side here. So the input goes to the vibro pad. This output goes to the input of the case PCB board. So the first one is the input. You've got a positive and you've got a negative. And at the very end, I've just put another output so if you want to put um, additional RGB lights, you can. So I'll zoom out again. So you want to pull apart your flipper zero. Um, in this video, I'm not going to go step by step um, what to do. So the process is pretty similar to all the other um, RGB backlight videos out there. So you just want to pull it all apart. So I've pretty much pre-disassembled um, this one. So I can just show you how I've wired it up. Um, so the way I've um, placed the board and the LED strip is just at the bottom of the, the battery. Um, I found that that's the best um, location if you want um, the case to have a nice uh, glow to it. Um, but to actually do that, I've had to actually remove the battery. Um, the battery is held by some adhesive. So you'd want to carefully just remove the adhesive from the bottom of the battery um, and then you can remove it. Um, to actually put the PCB board on for the RGB, I've just used some double-sided tape and wired it up. So you wire it up pretty much <clears throat> similar to what you do to the um, RGB backlight. Let's turn around. So you get your positive on this side. So this goes to the positive on the backlight PCB. So it's the second pad. So you can see it's going from there, going to the, the second pad. And then you've got a negative. So the negative just goes to that one, or you can do it to the actual pin. And that goes to the third pad. And then you've got an output. So the output of the actual backlight goes from there and it will go to the input of the case PCB board and that's essentially it so there's other videos out there how to <coughs> install the RGB backlight so it's pretty much as similar as that um, the only additional things are you've got the output that goes to the input of the case PCB and you've just got to wire up the positive 
to positive and then negative to the negative. And to put it all back together, what I've done is um, you want to route the wires uh, under, you can either do it underneath the battery if you want, which is what I've done. So you want to go flip the wires around that side, put your battery back in. So it looks like that. Put the ribbon cable through. So it's going to look like that. So with the battery, you sort of want it to be sitting flush or a little bit higher on the top side. Um, high enough that it, it's pretty much touching the case. So um, there's a bit more clearance at the bottom. So the actual LEDs can shine right up. Um, so do some test fitting first. Um, and then I would put some double-sided tape on the battery to make it permanent and just stick it in. So you want to do that. And then I'll just... Just test fit it with actual screen. I mean, sorry, with the case. So you want the battery to stick as to hide to the top as possible. Um, so there's, there's enough clearance. So it should look something like that and a little bit higher on the top bit. Um, once you've done all that, you put it all back together. Um, don't do what I'm doing, so probably have it have your flipper zero turned off. And you're gonna have to flash the custom firmware for it as well, because at the moment it's not the internal case RGBs aren't supported by um, most of the firmwares. I'll put a link to where you can download it. Um, so hopefully in the future, if there's a lot of people that have um, this mod or there's a need for it. Hopefully firmware like Momentum um, will adapt it and have it included in theirs. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll just turn off the lights, see how it looks. So hopefully this video is helpful um, and and if you're actually going to make the PCB boards as well yourself and solder it in, um, just want to make sure that the orientation of the near pixels are correct. 
So just have a um, pay attention to the way that the NeoPixel sits. Um, you just want to make sure that the chip is on the left side. See how the little is that little chip? Make sure it's on the left side. Um, and the same thing with the the PCB board for the case. So you've got the in, input on this side, and then positive, negative. Um, just pay attention to the orientation on the near pixel. The, that little chip there should be on the left side as well, and they should all be on the same side. So um, I'll put a link to all the things. I'll put the case and the boards as well if you want to make it yourself. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.